The galleries turned out in big numbers, as they always do for the final round of the BNI Indonesian Masters. Many of them here to see two-time Masters champion Bubba Watson. He made a hole-in-one at the 11th in round three. Nearly did it again today. He shot 14 under par and finished in the top 15. John Catlin, of course, has dominated the Asian Tour this year. He's right up there again. A birdie putt at the third. A 69 today for 16 under par. And Catlin, too, is at the top of the rankings. Now, Ben Campbell threatening Catlin at the top of those rankings. This is third into the second. Excellent 67 today for the New Zealander. E2 in with a chance of winning a place in the Live Golf League at the end of the season. It's good to see Jazz Jin Watanen on the 2019 winner here. Back to his best form. A birdie at the 14th. He finished on 17 under par in fifth. And Kieran Vincent, who gets married in a couple of weeks' time. This is his second into the opening hole. He finished in fourth place. What a good week it's been too for Wei Lun Chang from Chinese Taipei. Battling to keep his card on the Asian Tour. And he's done it with a terrific performance this week. A 64 today, tied for second. Panchara Kong, what my also shot 64 today to tie with Chang. This was his second into the 14th. Like Jade Watananon. Good to see him back playing well again. But the champion, perhaps not too surprisingly, taking a six-shot lead into the final round is Richard T. Lee. He started with birdies at the first and the third, added another here at eight, and at the end, all he needed was a birdie at the last to confirm a four-shot victory. Great performance by Richard T. Lee, his first win on the Asian Tour for seven years. He's played quite brilliantly all week. Thoroughly deserved that handsome trophy. Richard T. Lee, our BNI Indonesian Masters champion.